Belter, our culture expert. The Palme d'Or, one of cinema's most prestigious prizes. Bell Lapton, Al Jazeera at the Cannes Film Festival. The broadcast journalist and very glittery person, Belle yeah. Lupton. Amazing. Christmas Happy Christmas. Yes, absolutely, Nadia. So I'm standing here on what looks like the edge, really, of this protest at the moment, or a movement, because that's what the organisers are calling it. We think there's about 1,000 people, but the crowds are growing every minute here. I used to work with 16 to 25 year olds, some of whom came to us with projects they wanted to do because they'd been targeted or because they'd never been able to talk or they hadn't understood what was going on. We'll start in Greece with how the Greek papers or what what is left of the Greek newspapers, because of course a lot of them have had to fold, and what they're saying about this crisis. Just last weekend we had 400 migrants again disappeared in the Mediterranean. The, the final death toll isn't yet known. It's assumed that they are all dead. La Croix can't believe that one of the biggest economic powers in the world, it's talking about Europe here, uh, can't be bothered to deal with a humanitarian crisis. Uh, they were enlarged in 1965 to include 12 more areas of London, so Ilford, Enfield, those kind of areas. The postcodes didn't necessarily change to reflect that because it cost too much. To change a postcode? Yeah, exactly. The, for the Royal Mail, it cost too much. They didn't do it. So this is a report from the OECD, which is a, a think tank based here in Paris. The gap between rich and poor has soared in the last 30 years, it says. Now, Le Parisien, a mid-market tabloid, goes straight for that sensationalist headline. Inequality takes hold. Pantomime today might be all celebrity cameos and topical in references, but it wasn't always that way. Its earliest roots are in ancient Greece, where its mix of tragedy, comedy and sex were a popular form of entertainment. Right, I want you to picture a scene. Imagine your Saturday night in the off-license and you're trying to find a bottle of wine to take to dinner. Do you go for a Chardonnay, a Pinot, an Australian, a French? Do you want to spend £2.50? Do you want to spend £20? Okay, we're about to start and the atmosphere back here is electric. Now, these fixers with me here are about to see how their performances can be turned into TV magic. <laughs> yeah. Do I like to read? Do you like to I read? I love to read. So will yeah. you be reading this? Um, I think I will now, uh, because you've told me about it and you've brought it to my attention. I initially would not necessarily have liked the idea because I love the fact that when you're with a book, you sit down and you get away from, you know, everybody else you know it's you and the text as opposed to you the text and all of social media and everyone else who's also yeah. reading it and retweeting it and applauding and all the rest of it as we're on air now the interior minister the french interior minister bernard Cazeneuve, is speaking he's giving a press conference and what he said is that these two brothers sharif and saeed kouachi are are very much the two suspects now in this case they are being hunted we've heard about it already and now it's all over the french press as well it's always a great opportunity to get gorgeous photos of very glamorous people on the front covers. And this year is no different. So Le Parisien, a tabloid here, has gone with their front page. Uh, they show three winners on there. So the Palme d'Or, Best Actor and Best Actress. What do they all have in common? They're all French. I think this, this is the difficulty with art and the market of art, because there mm -hmm. there's different ways of approaching art. You're either trying to push boundaries artistically, do something that's really exciting, in which mm -hmm. case, to be honest, it's probably not the type of thing you want to have above your bed at yeah. night, because it's probably going to be difficult to live with. Now, I'll just mention there is a Syrian woman who I spoke to today who raised one rather interesting point. She said, this is great that it's happening today, but actually what we Syrians want is not to be refugees. We don't want to become refugees. What we'd like is to go back to our home. Well, okay, this is a Blossom Hill for, oh, okay. you know, £7.99. Right. That is a Chablis, which is made from a Chardonnay grape, which oh, okay. was 20 quid or just under right. in, in the supermarket. Oh, right. interesting. So next okay. time you're in, have a little yes. look. Have yes. I changed your mind? On yes, you mind? have. Definitely. Brilliant. Yeah. Good. Well, that's what we yes. meant to do. I'm changed. It wasn't until 1870 that Cinderella was first performed as a pantomime in the way that we understand that word today. And ever since then, it's been consistently popular, drawing big name stars and thigh-slappingly huge audiences from all across the country. Three out of three, high five me. Three out of three, all right. That's because I'm broker, wine broker. Fant <laughs> there we go, there you, that, well, there. That's, there you, go. you kept that one quiet. Right, well, we've given you a taste of what it's been like backstage here at The Big Fix tonight. If you want to see what our audience saw, go to our website, www.itvfixers.com and check out the footage. Oh my God, I love this thing. <laughs> Um, what are we talking about next week? Next week we are talking about books that have been made into great films. There we go. See you next week then. Thanks very much, Belle. That's a pleasure. Let's cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Just needed to get a cuddle. A little too long, that yeah. one. <laughs>